How many people go to watch you get your hair cut? Well, at the Rainbow End Alpacas Shearing event in Norway, people came out to watch the alpacas get their annual haircuts. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Monique Lopez has an up-close look at the event. Well, it may not be the alpaca's favorite day of the year, the annual alpaca shearing day is a much needed one. After going a whole year without a haircut, it was time for the alpaca to lose some of the furry weight they've been carrying around. Crazy weather that we had today, but normally, uh, you know, it's a nice warm day and they need to have that hair off because it is so warm that they really can't um, handle the heat in the summer otherwise. Although it may sound like they're in pain, the alpacas are only complaining about having to be tied down during the seven to 10 minute shearing. But the restraints are for their own protection. The reason that they're restrained and stretched is so that the animal doesn't thrash around and get hurt. The clippers are so sharp that it could probably take an ear off without much effort. They're never hurt. It would be more abusive and more hurtful if you didn't do this process. In just one day, spectators were able to learn all about the shearing process and see it from beginning to end. Not only did the audience get to witness pounds of their silky natural fiber cascade off of them, this year they also got to see how it is spun into the yarn that makes the merchandise housed throughout the Rainbow Gifts and Yarn Store. I think we're in a generation now where kids aren't seeing things handmade. They're not getting to put their hands on things and create something. One of the ladies took the fiber right off the animal today and made a nice little keepsake chain. So right off the animal to the spinner and a finished product. Spending a day with these now not so hairy lovable animals was an experience that made even a few people consider taking one home with them. I hope that I can come back here again someday. Um, hopefully I can get an alpaca of my own. <laughs> Today at the alpaca farm was definitely a day all packed with fun. Monique Lopez, TV6 News, Norway. I don't know about you, but I kind of want some alpaca yarn now to knit with. Very soft, yeah. yeah. It's amazing how thin they look without that big coat of hair. Either. Incredible, they're so cute. <laughs> be a lot more comfortable during tomorrow's heat wave. Yeah.